Hi, I'm Judy and welcome to Judy in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make yogurt from either non-fat milk or 1%. In another video I showed you how to make yogurt from whole milk or 2% and that's a slightly different procedure than this. So today I'm going to use one gallon of skim milk and I'm going to pour it into my pot. You can make it with less yogurt if you want, not a problem. Use a half a gallon if you want, not an issue. Okay, I've got one whole gallon of skim milk in there. I'm adding one third cup of powdered sugar and two envelopes of plain gelatin. That's plain gelatin, two envelopes. If you wanted to make a sweetened yogurt like a vanilla, now would be the time to add your sugar. I'm going to make mine plain. So what I'm going to do is just stir these together and I'm going to gently warm it up till it's boiling. I'm going to cook it probably on about a medium heat and stir it often and watch it carefully because once milk starts to boil it tends to come up really quickly so you need to watch it carefully. In the meantime I have the oven light on because the oven is going to be my incubator and I've taken the top rack and moved it down one notch from the center to make sure I have room for my containers. And I've also taken my starter yogurt. Now I like to buy a plain or a vanilla starter yogurt that and it must say on there that it has active culture. I like to use a store-bought yogurt as a starter that way I know there's enough culture in there. And I'll take it out of the refrigerator now and just let it sit at room temperature while I'm working on the milk. So I need to bring this to a boil and I'll be right back after it boils. My milk has come to a boil and you can see I have it in the sink in a cold water bath. This is the fastest way to cool it down. You don't have to do this. You could just take it off the heat and put it on a cool burner and allow it to cool at room temperature, but that's going to take a lot longer than this will. So I just stir this every now and then until it comes down to between 110 and 120 degrees and I like to use an instant read thermometer to check it out. If you don't have one you can test it however you normally would test a baby's bottle. If you're making vanilla flavored yogurt now is the time to add your vanilla extract. Add two tablespoons to one gallon of milk and just continue to allow this to cool down again till it's 110 to 120 and then we'll add the starter. Okay, my milk has cooled down enough to temperature where I need it to be. My oven is warmed. The oven has never been turned on. We don't turn the oven on for this, just the warmth from the light bulb. And I've taken my starter yogurt and I've put it in a large used yogurt container. This is the largest kind of container you would want to use no bigger than a four cup. Some can, large containers uh, for yogurt are three cups. This is a four cup. No bigger than this because if, if you put something in it any bigger it won't turn out right. You won't have good temperature control. So my starter yogurt is in here. I'm going to ladle just one or two scoops of the warm milk in there and I'm going to take a whisk. You could take a fork, whatever and just kind of blend it up so that the yogurt gets liquefied. And then I'm going to pour that into my pot of milk and just take the whisk and stir it around in there a little bit so that you know that that yogurt is all throughout that milk. And then I'm going to ladle it into my containers, put a lid on them, and then put them in the oven that I've turned into an incubator for six to eight hours and that should be plenty and then when that's done put it in the refrigerator and let it chill down really well before you enjoy your yogurt. It's really not a hard process. Yes, it does take a little bit of time but anything good is well worth the time like that. Go to my website, handmadeiniowa.com, look for the recipes page, you'll see all kinds of wonderful recipes and tips there. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen, thanks for stopping by.
And then I'm gonna label it, label, label it. Ah. 